How's it going guys? Today we are going to be taking a look at some French toast, or pain perdu if you will. While this recipe is delicious by itself with some syrup, I decided to whip up a strawberry sauce to go on top and I highly recommend you do the same. It was also a Sunday morning, so I have my brunch shirt on if you're wondering. For this you will need about a pound of fresh or frozen strawberries. We were able to find some from a local market, but get whatever you can. You'll need the zest from one lemon, about a quarter cup of sugar, and three tablespoons of cornstarch. The recipe called for hollowed out strawberries, but I quickly gave up on that and just cut the top off before cutting in half. I ended up having to crush them a decent amount in the pot, so I would actually cut them into quarters for more manageable pieces here. <laughs> Start by combining 3 tablespoons of cornstarch with 3 tablespoons of warm water in a medium pot. Stir these until combined and a slurry has formed. Next, zest one lemon and add it to the pot. Add in one quarter cup of sugar and once again mix to combine. At this point, you're going to want to turn your stove on to medium heat and stir until the sugar is dissolved. Once dissolved, add in your strawberries, crushing them slightly until the sauce is reduced to a syrup. This is done by evaporating off a lot of the moisture and leaving the sugars behind. This would also work well with other fruits like blackberry or raspberries if you prefer those. It's really up to you. When they're fully reduced, it should look a little something like this. Next up, we're going to make the French toast, starting with the egg mixture. You already showed the sugar. You need it again, mister. Okay. About four tablespoons. You'll also need two tablespoons of cinnamon, two caps of vanilla. We were making a lot of French toast here, so we used eight eggs and a half cup of milk. I also cooked up some bacon for the final product because, you know, bacon. Start by combining the sugar and cinnamon in a bowl. This also goes really well on apple slices if you're looking for a little midday snack. Crack your eggs into a large dish before adding your half cup of milk and whisking to combine. Measure out two capfuls of vanilla syrup and add those in as well. Once combined nicely, add in your cinnamon and sugar mixture. This was quite hard to do without spilling everywhere, so I recommend using a dish that has sides that are a lot higher than mine were. For the French toast itself, we will need lots of butter, we used about a stick here, a bread of your choice, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, and some maple syrup. Make sure it's the good Start by adding about a teaspoon of butter to a hot skillet over medium heat. Once the butter is fully melted, dip a piece of bread into the egg mixture, making sure to coat both sides.
Transfer the French toast to the skillet, cooking for about 3 minutes on either side. I didn't really notice in real time, but it's kind of cool in post to see the bread expand as the eggs cook. Once browned on both sides, transfer to a plate and start stacking. Here I was able to find a large bowl and give the mixture another good whisk without fear of spilling it everywhere. If the pan starts to look dry, add about another teaspoon of butter to it to make sure that the French toast doesn't stick. I ended up having to go to the bathroom, so I gave the job to a friend and hoped for the best. Christian, don't let it burn. I don't mind Christian's, Christian's cooking. Now. I don't like this. All I asked was that he didn't burn it, so I'd say he did a pretty good job. Once you've used up all of the egg mixture, give it a good showering of icing sugar before topping it with the strawberry sauce from earlier. This ended up being one of my favorites I've made so far. If you were debating trying to make some of the stuff I have shown, I recommend starting here. Not to toot my own horn, but this was proven by the stack quickly disappearing. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. See you guys next week.